welcome everybody to a brand new video of Main Belt Log. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a simple platformer. It will be called, for me, Dot. First of all, what you want to do is you want to make a sprite. Go to, um, go to the Scratch Cat logo and click Paint. After you're on there, I'm just going to do something very simple. Nothing too hard to make, nothing too simple. Well, it is very simple though. So, yeah, it's basically more on the simplicity side. But anyways, just making a simple dot. As you know, that's the name of the game. Dot. Make them small, make them big, it's up to you. So, yes, after you've gotten everything done, then you can start with making a game. Right then, I was just trying to do some eyeballs, but it didn't work out. So, yeah. Anyways, now we will code him so that he can move left and right and jump. When left and right, when the left and right arrow keys are pressed, and jump when the up arrow keys is pressed. So, what you need to do is that you have to go to event grab a one flag clicked a forever loop an if statement a key pressed from sensing key right arrow pressed and then go to motion and select move five steps or at least four steps you see and that shall work yes and now what you want to do is you want to duplicate this if statement and put it in the same forever loop. Now go left arrow and change minus four steps. And now you guys must be thinking, oh, this doesn't work. You can't do minus four steps. Well, think again. It works. <laughs> well, anyways, now what we need to do is make a level for this little scratch person or this little duck that we have so I'm gonna just go and make a level first of what you need to do is go to backdrops and then just paint the backdrop now I'm gonna be making a level yes now we've made a level we want him to jump we want our sprite character to jump so he's already moving left and right as you guys can simply see. Now I want him to jump. Once we want him to jump, it's very simple. All you need to do is go to events. No, actually you don't even need to. You just go into the one flag clicked, grab another if statement, if key uh, up arrow pressed, then change y by change y by let's at least say 45 see no nope, like at least 55 maybe 55 let's see 55 so we'll bring them all the way down to the floor and let's see 50 change y by 55 let's click that nope that's change x by Change y by 50. Now we need it to be a bit bigger, so we'll just say 63. Change y by 63. And will that be able to make it on the platform? It will exactly be able to make it on the platform. Change y by 63. And just add that into the if statement. If we play this, whoop. Also, another thing you want to do, you don't want your character just to fly up. So what you really want to do is that you want to go to control and wait and wait a zero point. Uh, we'll just say point five, zero point five seconds. So if you press the up arrow, then you can't just instantly start spamming and flying. Now you want him so that if he's not touching a platform, 
if he jumps and he's not touching a platform, then he'll fall down. So, for this, it's really simple. All you need to do is grab a one flag clicked, grab a forever, grab an if. If books are really useful. Anyways, grab an if. If touching color zero 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 for me in this case touching color zero 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 or whatever your color is for your ground which is for me it's zero 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 then then change y by minus three change y by minus three so it's a very slow fall off let's see if that works Wait, no, hold on a second. And good fun quick. Post and click. Uh, forever if touching. Oh, yes, now I know what's going on. You have to also add a not block from operators. If not touching color black, then change my right minus. So as you can see, he can clearly just jump. And I may actually just make this 70 since I think that's a little bit too, like, <laughs> that's a quick way to make it up. <laughs> you can actually just fly with this. So what I may do is I'll just do a wait one second. That might be good. Hold up. Uh, we'll just go up here. We can now. I think 0 0.5 seconds, 0 0.05 might be good. I think that was my mistake, but he can still fly. So, what we want is you know what? Enough messing around. Let's we'll just do a 0 0.5. That's enough. That's all we're gonna mess around. You may want to, whoopsie, you may want to just rename this dot if or whatever it's called. So now, you want to make it so that if he touches a teleporter, then he will go to the next level. And it will say level 2. For this, what you need is, you need to make a variable. And the variable should be called make a variable make sure to tick for this sprite only actually no never mind and make it level make it called level so you make a variable named level after this you want to do set level so once the green flag is clicked set level to one so when he's clicked it's the level is set to one as you can clearly see. Not a level set to Now we need to make a teleporter sprite. For this, you go to paint, you click on the sprite and you go to paint. And this time I will make the exact same character dot, but it will be bigger and it will have like give you the ability to top it. Yep, I think eight would make it or nine. Maybe ten would make it. Nope, I think eight is good. And I'll just make it a little bit bigger. At least that big. No, just had big Okay, that's good. And drag it to your end platform. Now I've done all that. What you want to do now is I'm going to make the make it look a little bit more cooler and I'm going to add some swirlies into it. We'll just I'm going to add some swirlies into it as I just told you. So make this a little red. Unselect this and then paint. Make some swirlies. 
and swirly number one, swirly number two, and swirly number three. There we go. Now that looks like something. <laughs> you want to center your sprite. So center this and center this. Not like that. You good job. You've already made it up to here. Now what you want to do is you want to make a code so that if our dot character is touching our um, teleporter, then you will switch to level two. For this, what you need to do is you make a brand new um, thing, which is brand new, uh, what you call it, brand new, um, <laughs> brand new backdrop there we go i got the word and then also what you want to do is instead of before you set level to one make sure switch backdrop to backdrop one just like that also what i want is him to spawn right here so this will be like a spawn point so go to X and Y. Then enough messing around. Now let's get to what we're really doing. So grab another if statement. Grab another when flag clicked. Go to forever loop. Grab an if statement. If touching sprite two, which in this case is our teleporter, then go to looks. Switch backdrop to backdrop two. And now we should be testing that. Falls down. We'll just do it the quicker way. Yes, now it works. And you want to also go back to your variables. Set level to two. Two, two. <laughs> set level to two and then switch. No, no. Yeah, that's good. Because it still means the same thing. So he spawns. You can make some, uh, what do you call it? Jumps. And if he touches the teleporter, then it switches to the level two. You can see in the variable. I want to adjust this variable so it's a bit like. And I'll adjust this variable so it's a bit like large readout. And he's like that. Okay, now we have that. Next thing you want to do is end the video because that's all I have time for today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Also, one more thing is that this is only a part one. So don't take it too seriously. But again, bye everybody. See you guys in the next one.